Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and today I prepare this fluid art tutorial for you. At the beginning, I would like to describe what I do with my colors because I've got lots of new followers coming here on YouTube and everybody always asks me, how do you mix your colors? So I always try to describe as much as possible. If you already know how I mix my colors, then you can move to the creative part. If you don't know, then you can see what I do. So I'll be using this mauve. This one is magenta red, turquoise and gold as a swiping color because I would like to create some gold details on my acrylic pour. That's why I chose these colors and I will, I'll be using my white as a base for my pour. This is a mixture of pouring medium and white acrylic color. I use these Lucas Krill Studio colors. I think you can find them somewhere online. You'll have to search them because you come from all around the world and everybody's got different options. So this is one part of pouring medium and one part of acrylic colors. And as a pouring medium, I use craft PVA glue. I use 60% of glue and 40% of water. That creates my pouring medium. You can also buy ready-made pouring mediums, but this is a cheaper option for me and I didn't have any problems with it so far. So my colors are the same mixture as my white base, one part of pouring medium and one part of acrylic, acrylic colors. Now I'm going to put two drops in each color but not in my white just in here one two and I'm using this silicone oil I'm sure there's loads of brands online which you can use so one or two drops it doesn't matter of silicone oil and then mix it up a little bit everything is prepared for my pour so I can start pouring my white base I've got my canvas here, which is size 20 times 30 centimeters. And I always put these pins on the bottom of my canvas because I don't want it to stick to my garbage bag. Let's pour this white here everywhere, even in your corners. Just spread it everywhere. Perfect, that's done. So I can start pouring my colors. I'll be pouring these lines of colors to create beautiful swipe. I'm going to start with this turquoise here and continue with this pink color, which is a beautiful color. Then turquoise again. And my move. Here and there in between of my colors as well. Perfect. So now I can create my swipe and pour this gold here on this edge like this and maybe in between my colors just a little bit and I've got this plastic sheet which works well as a swiping tool you could also use this kind of plastic sheet or baking paper or cling film anything what works for you and I'm gonna swipe it all the way down This is not a blow dryer or hair dryer. It's a heat gun, which is very hot. You have to be careful with it, but it's more safe. It, but it's safer than torch because it doesn't create fire. That's why I use this heat gun. It's in the, it's plugged into electricity and it works well for popping my cells. So. Perfect, beautiful. Look at these cells growing. This will be a perfect background for my future embellishment, which I plan to do with this special pour. So I know these cells will stretch, they will grow and it should have some nice gold details in between them. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 
four or five days and then I'm gonna show you what to do next with this special pour. And after one hour my cells stretched a lot because it's very hot in my art studio at the moment but it's okay because it will have that beautiful golden shine in between these cells. Welcome back, my pour is dry and as you can see my cells changed their shape, they grown a lot and I think it's because it was very hot in my art studio and I noticed that when it's too hot my cells like blur all together but it's okay, I can still create a beautiful piece of art and I love the golden shine which is inside of this acrylic pour. And I would like to embellish this piece with amazing circles. And if you'll be inspired by my art, please make sure to mention me paintings as a source of inspiration. So now I can show you what I'll do. I'm gonna use my special drawing tool, which is called Iris. It's from Maker's Cabinet. And it's amazing because you can create these shapes and decide on the size of your circle. If you search this online, I'm sure you'll find loads of different brands and different price options. So it depends what you can afford, but this is amazing for creating these circles. So I'm going to decide where my first circle will be. So let's see this. This looks like a good place. And I'm gonna use my whiteboard marker w for drawing these circles because I would like to wipe some parts off because I would like to have my cells on the top of my circle. That's why I'm using this. So let's create the first one here. Mm, yeah, and you can see I left this place blank because I would like these cells to be on the top of my circle and then I'm gonna choose a smaller, smaller size, slightly smaller and what is it? circle like this. Perfect. And I'm gonna fill this with some beautiful magenta color. Let's decide where my other circle will be. Maybe here and I'll make this one a little bit smaller. As you can see, I decided that my circles will be overlapping each other. And now I'm going to fill these circles with the colors which I used for my pour. So some magenta, beautiful turquoise and some gold. And I'm going to use my tiny brushes. I don't know which ones will be good. I'll see. I'll decide. Just the tiny brushes which I've got for acrylic paintings. So let's start with this one. Perfect, so that's my first circle and I'm gonna work on the little details later on. Firstly, I will fill all these circles with colors and then I'm gonna add some white and dark reflections. 
Okay, so my circles are done and now it's time to turn them into 3D looking circles and I'm gonna show you how to do that. For that I will just need black and white paint marker, acrylic marker, of course you can use any kind of marker which you like using or acrylic colors, but I like using markers because it's easier and faster for me, but of course you can do it however you want. This is just an inspiration for you which you can use for your beautiful art. So firstly I'm gonna start by sh uh, making uh, light shades. One light shade will be here on the top of my circle and then I'm also going to highlight this bottom part of my circle. So I just shake it and draw these white lines and then I've got my brush, tiny brush. I put it in the water so it's slightly wet and then I'm gonna blend this white and you have to do this very quickly otherwise your marker gets dry and you won't be able to blend it like now the end is already dry so I'm not able to blend it never mind so I put a little bit more white in here in this wet area and then try to blend it nicely so this top part is lighter little bit more here see it's already wet so it's easier for me to blend it cool now the dark part all these uh, areas which touch with another circle needs some shading so I'm gonna do shading here then shades here also here here and here this cell will have shade here as well so let's start with this cell and make shade there again put my brush in water and blend it do it very quickly perfect and here and see now your cells stand out from that so it looks more 3d now these parts need little shades as well Now I'm going to create two more shades, one will, will be here and the other one will be underneath my circle. So again I'll use my marker and try to work quite quickly and blend this to create a little shade. Perfect, see it stands out. And one last thing, I'm gonna draw this reflection here on the top. And this is the result of my circle acrylic pour with some tangled cells and as you can see you can go wild with your cells and let your imagination free create amazing piece of art well, i hope this tutorial was inspirational for you if you liked it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel you can also join my facebook group which is called create with me and show us your beautiful art and i want to show you the shine inside of this gold look at it beautiful golden shine in here 
So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your nice comments and all your shares. I'm very grateful that I can create these videos for you. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.